Hello everyone, my name is Amir, welcome back to my channel. So today's video will be a quick one. I'll be talking about this. A Wonga at Midnight Maximum Tune 6 original soundtrack. While I won't be talking about the tracks on the disc, I'll be more focusing on the presentation of the complete CD. So I'll be going through the pamphlet, the two CDs, and the other nooks and crannies I can find. Just to give you a heads up, everything in the video is my opinion, and if you don't agree with that, feel free to leave. That being said, sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Playing in the background are soundtracks from the album. I'll be leaving a description every time a new song is being played. I want you guys to also look forward to me to review each of the songs and give you guys my favorite, but that will be for another video. Alright, jumping right into the unboxing, as soon as we open it, we are greeted with the first CD and the CD's pamphlet. I'm liking the colors, everything looks super nice, and I can't wait to get into detail about what is behind all this. Okay, so flipping it over, we get the second CD and the back side of the case. Colors still look the same, except for this orange little uh, color on the CD, but we'll get into that a little bit later. All right, moving on to the CD's pamphlet. I'm gonna flip through it real quick so you guys get to see what's on each page. From there, we're gonna move on straight into the visual review and dig our teaching this, so let's go. Just to give you a brief summary of my Maximum 2 knowledge, I've been playing the first one since release all the way back into the 2000s. I even remember playing Midnight R, where you had to punch in the right codes just to get to Devil Z. So, as you can probably tell, I'm a big fan. So right in front of you is my original S15 that I made all the way back in version 1, Tarantula to 2, 3, and DX+. Unfortunately, Namco America never released Maximum 2 in version 4, and I lost all my money, so, yeah. Alright, so right off the bat, I am loving the front cover of the CD. The Devil's in the background with the lens flare of the headlights is super cool. Really nice aesthetic, and it's something you probably would see when you play the game. Unfortunately, as soon as you turn it over, all that is gone. Now we have bright red, yellow, and orange. The darker shades are pushed to the top so that the city lights can come through in this image. Unfortunately for me, I personally don't like this image. Um, I know it gives a sense of like speed and you know, it's supposed to really sell um, Tokyo. But uh, as you're gonna see, this image is gonna appear throughout uh, the CD. So uh, get ready to see a lot more. And what I mean by that is the same image is imprinted on the CDs. While it is a nice feature, why would you use the most unflattering photo on the CD? I just, it, I don't get it, I really don't. While I understand the idea of reusing old assets to save time and of course money, but when I look at the CD, I just feel that this is just in a lazy attempt, which is a real shame because the soundtrack on the album is actually really good, but the designer who approached the CD just missed the mark, in my opinion. One thing that bothers me, at first glance, the CD doesn't really scream Wonga at Midnight Maximum tune. Yes, there's a Fear Lady on it and Tokyo Lights in the back, but for me, it just doesn't seem like Maximum tune. Maximum tune for me is the cars, it's the characters, you know, it's it's more than just a fairly with some lights, but moving on. Opening the CD, the color schemes fortunately stays the same, all for one exception, CD2, which has an orange slip and a number two on it. Why they chose to do this, I don't know. They could have had the orange slit on the opposite side or a red slit on the opposite side, but they chose to go in this direction, so hey. Now finally, we have reached the worst part of the entire city, the booklet. Perhaps I come from the old guard where back in the day when you purchase a city or game, it would come with a booklet and it was full of information. Stuff like the story, or how it's made, or where you want to go if you wanted more. Mind you, the internet was not in full swing as it is now, so having a book to help you understand certain things was awesome. 
Now, for some odd reason, that hasn't transferred over in our day and age, and it's true for the CD. While I understand it's a CD for an arcade racing game, just be aware that someone had to show their superiors before they got the go-ahead to complete it. Why would anyone approve of this basic booklet is beyond me, but I understand that they did put time into it, and I appreciate it that they did. I just wish that they went in a different direction. One direction could have been not using the same HD image over and over. The Warp City lights on the back of the cover and CDs are once again being placed in the booklet right at the beginning, just beside the song list. All this information is on the back of the album, so why do we need to see this again? After turning the page, we are greeted to the most waste of space on paper, song lyrics. It's a good way to fill up your page with useless information that anyone can get anywhere. What they should have done is ask themselves, why did we choose these lyrics? What does this have to do with Maximum Tune? Why did they choose that artist to sing? There are so many other things they could have put on these pages, and yet, here we are. Lyrics. For example, this page with the composer. The only reason I know he's a composer is because it says right there. If we have different images of him actually at a studio creating these beats, or having a little subsection talking about how he's able to come together to make another sixth album. You know, these are things I want to know, and these are things I think should be included into the booklet. Now, coming to the end of this critique, if you couldn't tell, I'm not a big fan of the city's appearance. Aside from a few original photos and the city itself, there's not much being offered here. It feels like they made this quick and easy just to forget about it and move on. I don't know if the team who created this were fans of the racing series, but it clearly doesn't show what Max Mantoon is. Sure, the Devil Z is the poster child for Wong at Midnight, but where's everyone else? Where's all the characters, the cars, the courses that make Wanda Midnight? Sadly, they're not here.